elders i am sarim khan i passed out fifth standard this year and today i am going to explain to you in this video about hawking's temperature so today i will be explaining you about hawking's temperature so first of all then the question arises that what is hawking's temperature so before telling you about hawking's temperature let me tell you who was professor stephen hawking okay then that's our question so first of all let us know about who was professor stephen hawking who was such a great physicist that we today all we know about and if you don't know about professor stephen hawking then today you are going to come to know about professor stephen hawking in this video about his way of thinking his style of thinking his contribution to physics and why he is such a great physicist so first of all let me inform you about the greatest toughness of his life was that he had als means amyotrophic lateral sclerosis so as we know about uh, this motor neuron disease so uh, whenever it is impacted over any human then uh, that human is paralyzed his body is fully paralyzed in that body of that man cannot move but even then what was uh, stephen hawking was diagnosed by this disease motor neuron disease means als or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis but even in that case he didn't leave to contribute to physics he didn't leave his contribution to physics and today we all know about professor stephen hawking we all know he even had held a newton's chair as new as lucasian professor of mathematics at cambridge and it is very great thing to hold the newton's chair as lucasian professor of mathematics in cambridge because we all know about newton the great scientist sir isaac newton it is very great thing to hold his chair okay so stephen hawking we then we can come to know that stephen hawking was not any less than sir isaac newton and even not any less than einstein even even einstein and stephen hawking iq were same their iq were same we can come to know about how genius or how great professor stephen hawking was so this was all about professor stephen hawking today our point is hawking's temperature question arises what is hawking's temperature this we know because by its name we can come to know that who has discovered it of course we know that professor stephen hawking has discovered it so now question arises what is hawking temperature so first of all let me inform you what is a black hole because black hole okay black hole and hawking temperature are interlinked they are interlinked with each other so this is why first will be coming to know about what is a black hole so first of all what is a black hole question arises then black hole is a region is in a space time it is such a region in a space time from where nothing not even light can escape okay no electromagnetic wave can escape nothing in the universe can escape that region in space time is called as black hole is referred as black hole okay so generally let me inform me in 2018 first image of black hole was taken okay in last year that was 2018 now we can come to know that okay just like black hole this is black hole now how is a black hole formed okay so first of all black hole is formed of a star but how so first of all let us come to know about how is a star formed because how is a black hole formed of a stars then how is a star formed now okay that is through hydrogen and let me inform you that very 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 much very huge amount of hydrogen gas is collected at a single place so what happens that, that there is too much gravitational attraction force okay there are of course too much gravitational force so due to that what happens that actually whole hydrogen gets converted okay intermixed with each other and when it this process happens so suddenly a body is formed that is named as a star okay so then suddenly a star is formed now we know a star is formed through hydrogen gas and uh, do you know when what happens that as soon as stars get older what happens that suddenly na the all the hydrogen of a stars get converted into helium from helium into many processes and finally in iron and what happens that we since we know stars radiate just like our sun is a yellow star it is also a star and stars radiate sun also radiates which our electromagnetic wave this light which comes from our sun to us that is also a kind of radiation okay it is not very harmful for us okay it is electromagnetic radiation so first of all let me inform you that all kinds of stars radiate okay whichever star that is uh, whether giant star or yellow star all kinds of stars okay radiate now which radio okay when they radiate so there is a radiation force applied by the star to the external side okay from the internal to the external side means uh, its direction is towards outside now gravitational pull is always towards internal side towards the core towards the center just like earth we know now earth gravitational pull 
is always toward the core of the earth like this for any star also it is valid okay the gravitational force for any star will be towards the core of the star so by this what we can get one force will be applied outside the radiation force and one inside both magnitude gets same then they are cancelled each other and the star remains stable but sometime what happens which the fuel is present of stars okay the fuel ends up okay the fuel ends up because since we know for radiation okay hydrogen helium okay those kinds of gases are required for radiation but what happens if the those kinds of gases are end up from the stars what will happen so the star will stop radiating is when the star will stop radiating so what will happen since we know it will not radiate then there will be no any radiation force no any radiation force means okay only gravitational force will be applied towards inner side no other force towards okay external side so the star will not be stable what will happen so much gravity will be high towards the core of the star that star size will be minimizing so suddenly what will happen star size okay its area its volume everything will get minimized and suddenly when its area since when density is equals to what mass by volume density equals to mass by volume so and since we know density and volume are inversely proportional to each other so as okay since we know as volume will decrease then density of the object will increase so this is why a star gets finally it gets so small that it it gets infinitely okay infinitely dense so dense it becomes as the star gets small but even then there is no effect on the mass okay and some it may happen mass will not decrease since we know as the density okay since we know density and okay uh, just like density equals to mass by volume so density is pro directly proportional to the mass so by this what will happen mass of the star will never decrease Ma as it will become infinitely dense its volume will be decreased its volume will start decreasing it will start occupying less space it will start shrinking but even then its mass will never increase so with same mass what will happen suddenly that its gravitational force will be same because gravity or gravitational force depend upon the mass and mass is same gravitational force will be same by this what we can finally get what final conclusion we are getting that so small so small object which was first of all star later what happened to that star it is started minimizing okay it is started shrinking and with same mass and then same gravitational force its gravitational pull becomes so high that suddenly what happens it gets converted into a black hole and that kind of thing is called black hole and it is formed due to stars means when the stars end up from their fuel then a black black hole is formed that's a black hole there are generally many kinds of black hole but that will be not discussing in this video in this video we'll discuss about hawking temperature this i told you about black holes now the main question arises what is hawking temperature so now only it is very simple to understand hawking temperature so first of all let me inform you hawking temperature what is it so first of all let me inform you just like if we have any use okay any kind of black hole now imagine mass of that black hole will be same as the mass of our sun since we all have seen our sun imagine mass of sun and that mass of black hole will be equal if we have such a black hole whose mass is equals to the mass of our sun so such a black hole since stephen hawking said okay in 1974 while discovering hawking temperature and hawking radiation both okay hawking radiation in our and in next video we'll discuss so stephen hawking said that as much mass of any black hole will increase so much the okay its temperature will decrease as mass will increase temperature will decrease so he said that actually what happens that when we have any black hole whose mass is equals to mass of our sun the temperature of such a black hole will be equals to 0.0000000 and 6 kelvins okay that is so many kel so less amount of kelvin okay that is the millionth millionth of a celsius above the okay absolute zero millionth of a celsius above the absolute zero which is very less temperature so if we have mass of a black hole equals to the mass of our sun then we can call that the temperature of that black hole will be equals to temperature of black hole will be equals to this amount of kelvin 0.7 times 0 will have 7 times 0 let us 6 let us so many kelvins so that now this which temperature we have this temperature itself is called hawking temperature okay because since stephen hawking had told about it 
to the wall by calculating so this kind of temperature is known as hawking temperature why hawking temperature because this temperature for black holes okay which was discovered in 1974 which is known as the glorious year for black hole research okay or glorious year for black hole discovery so in 1974 this kind of temperature was, was discovered which is the temperature for any black hole whose mass is equal to the mass of our sun so this was my today's topic about hawking's temperature about whether what is hawking's temperature and black hole and how are stars stars formed so this was my today's all topic so thank you